Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of a car laptop charging kit, which sells on Amazon for around 15 bucks, so it's not overly expensive. It can be extremely useful if you're a road warrior, constantly driving and on the go, and your laptop maybe runs out of power because you're not using an ultra portable or the power is running low in general and you need to add some extra juice. This could be a solution to consider. Um, otherwise, this is what the packaging looks like, a pretty generic box. And on the inside, there is a user manual that documents the various functions. The model number is the LSCR90L and you can see it's a universal model because it includes adapters and prongs for almost every single type of laptop under the sun with a few exceptions. So if, you're, if your device has a non-typical port, uh, such as the HP Envy X2 that we saw, that uses almost like a 30 pin connector from older iOS devices, that's not gonna work as well. But uh, for typical HPs, Lenovo's, uh, as well as Sony laptops, so you might have Toshiba laptops, those will all work just fine. So this is how to install everything, put it together, and then plug it into the car's uh, power source, the battery. And here we have the central unit. It is made out of plastic, but it is surprisingly hefty. Uh, it almost seems like a polycarbonate build because uh, you can see that this is where the charging process occurs. There's also a full-size USB port as well if you want to charge a mobile device at the same time, like a tablet or a phone. This is where the power goes in. This is where the connections to the adapters will occur. Uh, so taking a look at these, we have access to the various ports and connector tips. Um, there is a, a brief uh, extension cable as well provided, so if you want to get a slightly longer tip, that is possible. Uh, but again, if you're using your laptop in the car, you probably need to get an even longer cable, and that's not included in the box. So these are some of the examples of the tips that you can use and how they plug in um, as such. And finally, over here, we have access to, uh, again, another piece that plugs into the, the power place. And there's also seems to be a little bit of a monitor that probably tells you once the charging has started, uh, you know, the current that's being drained. So like for instance, 20 volts, uh, which is typical from a laptop battery and perhaps, you know, how much charging time is remaining, so on and so forth. Finally, we have a standard uh, adapter here. So this is just a car cigarette lighter that plugs into that power source. And you simply plug it into the port here for the uh, adapter. That's the port that connects from here over to this unit onto this other side. And uh, this side also leaves another, again, USB port, so you can charge yet another mobile device. So it does allow you to still charge, let's say, a typical Android or a smartphone in addition to your laptop. So let's try and put some of these pieces together. And then later on, we'll give you guys a quick demo of the charging process. So again, this part would actually insert into the car's power source. This part would insert into this uh, unique kind of a power a cigarette plug. Again, it uses that typical, this plug here, which is not found in every single car charger out there. And this side goes into this uh, converter. And finally, this other side can be plugged into this piece with the display on it with three different prongs. That is a special proprietary connector port. And afterwards, this part is then connected to whatever tip that you may want to use. Let's say I wanna use this one, I'm charging a tablet. I would then plug this part in. There we go, there are two grooves on the sides which will align and tell you when the position is correct. And this is how the entire process looks. So again, the cable length isn't the longest in the world. So again, if you're working still with your laptop on the lap, if you're sitting in the back seat, it is feasible, but it's not quite long enough, I would say. Uh, that's something that maybe the company could improve on or add a longer cable as an option in the packaging for a second generation model.